I'm in Braintree this morning. Hopefully I can find some stuff. It's cute, fat face. Oh, look, it's a crash. Crash Bandicoot. He is cool. So I, I forgot to show you all the stuff that I brought yesterday. I will do a haul when I get back. I'm just posting uh, one item sold last night, so I'm going to send that out. Was the it was the um, Transformers? I don't know if you remember. I brought a load of Transformers in a box for ten pound over the holidays, and there was man random manuals and stuff like that. I sold a poster 1984 poster for 15 pounds um i think i've got like two posters left or like a watch um like a watch promo poster so um they've done me really well i'm going to send that out now and then i'm going to look around the charity shops go home and then i will run through everything that i picked up yesterday and today £70. Oh, nice. Happy bacon again. He, he So shout out to Ian um, for hooking me up with football shirt knowledge. I picked it up even though it has the Tommy W on the back. I should get a good profit from that. I paid £7 for it. To get over this, it'll have to fly! <laughs> the Dukes of Hazard Speed Jumper comes with everything you see here. Okay, so I'm just going to run through some of the stuff which I picked up. This is uh, one of the items which I picked up. It is a Pokemon Psych Duck. Um, it says it's from the Pokemon Center 2007, but on the back it says 2013. So I don't think it's as old as what it says it is. I think that's just the Pokemon Center from 2007, but it was made in 2013. Alas, it's still, what, 10 years, 10 years old. Really good condition, one pound. <laughs> Um, I'll do the other plush as well. So this plush I saw in the charity shop, it was £2. It's actually called Killer Star Creatures. Creatures. And this is Hades, apparently. It is 
1,148 of 3,000. They usually come with like a dust bag. Um, resale comps, uh, the last one that I saw sold was £45, but that was with like the dust bag. Maybe I'll ask 40 really good condition. They do loads of different ones, but um, yeah, for £2, I didn't think that was too bad. I actually didn't know what it was when I picked it up, but um, yeah, apparently it's Hades in a cat. This really cool Sesame Street backpack. Now, I love a little bag or backpack, but this one is special because it has um, disconnecting straps, but you can turn it inside out. So you can have it as an Elmo bag, or you can have it as a Cookie Monster bag. And I thought it was really good um, for like nursery or anyone really if you're going to like Disney parks. Really cute. That was three pound. The next item that I picked up was, and it needs a wash, is this Jack Pike jumper. So it's like a hunting style jumper. It's got a really nice pheasant on it. A little bit of bobbling, but Jack Pike, I've never heard of before. I did a quick search and some of the stuff sells really well. So this was £3.50. Um, I have just noticed now there is a little bit of paint on there. Um, but that's coming off, that's fine. £3.50, some of them sell for 30 35 depending. I think it looks is more of like an older vintage range of Jack Pike. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was good. I picked that up. This fat face coat up, it's in really great condition. It is a UK size eight. It was only five pound. It has like a hidden hood, zipped hood in the back there. Um, pulls in at the waist, 30, 25, 30 pounds. Hopefully I can get it listed this weekend because it's been raining and stuff. I want to do it before the nice weather sets in. This next one is an Irobi. Irobi? Let me try and move this. So, Irobi. I don't know, I've spent ages trying. Irobi. Um, made in Scotland jumper. It was £3.50. It's a blue with a really nice like cobalt blue at the cuffs and around the collar this is pure pure um scottish wool shetland sorry pure 100 percent pure shetland wool in a large um i'm quite surprised at this brand it sells really well some of the pre-owned jumpers are selling for 90 80 35 just 40 it really it varies but um a good like reseller resale rate on these jumpers so iribe 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 whatever so the next item i was debating picking up it is a long sleeve west ham football shirt um i asked ian about it master of pieces because he helped me out on the other one um, the only problem is it does have Tommy W on the back, which apparently will affect the resale rate, but overall really good condition. It did cost me seven pound. Um, hopefully I should be able to make my money back. I don't, I haven't done research on those football shirts, but I tend to pick football shirts up, um, because I know they sell well. The next item I picked up was a vintage fruit of the loom, large, sweatshirt it's like a crew neck with the embroidery in red it was in the reduced area so it only cost me one pound which i thought was an absolute bargain right where are we then i popped into town to my local town picked up really nice basic nike tea for three pound it's in a large all over print front and back Unfortunately, it does have a little thing here, so that's going straight into the wash. Hopefully, that should come out in the wash. If not, then I can reduce the price and just show it in my listing. The next thing that I picked up was this Warhammer store anniversary lanyard. And it's probably not anything, but I know Warhammer is pretty... I'm not going to undo it, actually. Um, 
I know that Warhammer is pretty popular. It's just a lanyard with 2023 and then the little case thing to put your card in or your ID. Um, only cost me one pound. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I know that Warhammer is pretty popular. This next item is a hob skirt. So it's like a tartan kilt basically it's like a faux kilt because it doesn't do it up here it does have a split in the front but it's a side zip hobs were it was this was six pounds 75 so. this next item i thought was decent it is a sea salt coat i believe the name of the coat is down on the tag the tags look like they've been chewed but mangled in the in something anyway this is a tiller coat t-i-l-l-e-r tiller not a tiller it was five pounds there are a few marks on it i'm hoping to get those off if not i will definitely lower the price looking at 25 to 30 in a size 10 overall really good just some probably do some spot cleaning really this is a Jaguar coat. So, nice Jag coat there. Um, it has a hidden hood. This one has like number three. Overall, really good condition. It is fleece lined in a large and it only cost me five pounds. Um, if you don't know, I do like collecting comics. This one was five pounds. Let me get it out. So, this is the Marvel Comics. Bloodstone number three cost me five pound. Um, I have seen soul comps. Uh, they are pretty good on this one, but I think I'm going to keep this one for me. And the last item which I picked up was this Dukes of Hazard speed jumper. It did cost me fifteen pound, but it looks pretty cool. The box is worn, and the jumping stuff. I've seen a lot online that are black. These are black. So I don't know if it's rarer because of because of it's yellow. It does say pattern pending on it. So we have the car. We have the instructions. We have the walls which you stack up. The flags and the cones are there. Um yeah, some really nice nostalgic toy, really. Just, yeah, an all-round great bit of toy history. So I might sell this, I might keep it, but I'm £15 in on this one, so I don't know. Like I said before, um, my eBay has been slow, and that's all due to me um, not putting the work into it. I've been focusing on some whatnot stuff, and shows for like valentine's and birthday so my ebay has been a little bit lower but that's not due to anything else apart from the work that i put into it i haven't been um putting listings up so that's why it's been a little bit lower for me that's fine um as i am part-time oh i forgot to show you the crash bandicoot oh yes it's because I put him up there. So I brought Crash Bandicoot. He was only one pound. I was so stoked to see him up there. 2001. Um, he is a little bit floppy in the arms. I think I might add a, a few more beans. But um, really happy with him. Bit of nostalgia for me. Um, I love playing Crash Bandicoot. So um, that is it for today. I appreciate everybody coming. Um, like, subscribe and follow if you haven't already. Um, let me know what your favourite thing I picked up this week is going to have to be the Dukes of Hazard for me or obviously Crash Bandicoot because he's so cool. Have an amazing week, rest of the week and weekend and be blessed. Bye.